Mr. Fantasy's here. Jeff Bisquino from thefootballguys.com. He is back for another year of helping you guys set your fantasy football lineups. If you have a question for Jeff Pasquino, send us a text, 609-403-0973. I think we've got a record number of questions that have already come in, and the segment hasn't even started yet there, Pete Thompson. (laughs) But Mr. Fantasy's back, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. Welcome back, Jeff. How are you, my friend? Good, guys. What is it, like my 20th, 30th year? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I've been here, let's see, 12. I think you've been with me every single year. So uh, it looks like 12 years of fantasy football advice from one Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com. Let's dive right into our week number one. It starts tonight. Let's uh, look at the game tonight, Jeff. Uh, It is Kansas City and New England. I'm sure some interesting plays in the game tonight. Uh, Brady, Alex Smith in the quarterback spots there. Uh, You like both these guys tonight? Well, I like Brady certainly more. Uh, I think Alex Smith, you know, get that label game manager. He doesn't do as much, but he's going to be asked to this week. Tough, tough game to start off on the road in Foxborough. I do like, uh, I like his tight end. I, I like some of his other targets. Uh, I think injuries have really manifested on this game. That I think you've got Kareem Hunt, and you've also got uh, Chris Logan or Chris Hogan as valid options to stick in there for this week. Yeah, I know we got a lot of questions uh, regarding uh, some of these players in the game tonight. So uh, let's look at some of the quarterbacks this week. We'll get to some of the players in tonight's game in just a second. Uh, how about we go with a guy uh, who was kind of off the radar last year, had a down year, but Carson Palmer starting off against the Lions. Uh, a lot of people think that Arizona could bounce back if Carson Palmer does. So you're playing him in week one. Well, he's never going to be more healthy than he is this week. So this is a great week to use him. Um, I think that I like him. I like Larry Fitzgerald, in a, which should be a high-scoring game. Uh, I think Palmer is a solid QB, borderline one. A lot of buzz about Marcus Mariota. He's playing the Raiders. You put him in. Love Mariota this week. I think all of his targets are options. It's a high-scoring game. He's at home. He can run or throw. Uh, how about Dak Prescott? A lot of people think he takes a step back. How about fantasy-wise against the Giants? Giants are a very strong defense. I think this game is going to be dictated by the Giants, and they could pull the upset this week. All right, let's look at some more uh, quarterbacks here before we jump over to the running backs. Uh, how about Phillip Rivers? He's taking a, a luxury SUV up to L.A. every week, but how about his game in Denver this week against the Broncos? This is a very important game for the Chargers, and I think they have a their sights set on winning that division. They could win it in week one with a uh, road win here. I like the Chargers this week. Okay, last quarterback before uh, we move over to the running backs. How about uh, Big Ben going up against the Browns? Got more weapons this year uh, with the return of Martavius Bryant. Yes, but he has a terrible road record, and even in Cleveland he hasn't done well. Is about a 30% fantasy drop. I would skip over Roethlisberger if you had a, a better option. All right, uh, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. We're going over to the running backs this week and taking a look at some interesting ones. Uh, how about uh, in Philly? They're going to go up against Rob Kelly, a uh, guy who might have been under the radar on draft day. Yeah, I still don't know what they're going to do in Washington, to be honest with you. I think you're, we're going to see a lot more Kirk Cousins throwing to a healthy Jordan Reed. Uh, working in his new wide receivers. I think it's going to be more pass than run this week. All right, uh, let's look at some more running backs here. How about uh, Leonard Fournette, uh, big, uh, highly publicized rookie, uh, his first game against the Texans? I think that's going to be all about the Texans. Houston is going to have a rallying point after the hurricane, much like New Orleans did 10 years ago with Katrina. I want no part of Jacksonville this week. Okay, how about, uh, all right, I drafted uh, a giant running back. How about Paul Perkins? Uh, what am I doing with him on uh, Sunday night? Uh, looking for other options. <laughs> um, I, just, I, I, I just don't like the run game. I think it's going to be all about Eli Manning throwing the ball to Sterling Shepard and Brandon Marshall. I don't tr- I don't think Aldell Beckham is going to play. All right. Uh, how about, uh, let's see, uh, Theo Riddick. We talked about Carson Palmer. Let's go to the other side in Detroit. They were 9-7 and seven last year. Big contract for Matthew Stafford. But is his running back going to be the guy to play this week? Well, they've got a, a, a committee, which is never good for fantasy purposes, with Riddick and uh, Abdullah and even Zach Zenner still in the mix for goal line touches. So, um, the way to play them is Golden Tate and Marvin Jones and Matthew Stafford. All right. Uh, we'll get to the wide receivers. We'll get to your questions coming up here in just a minute on the Sports Bash. Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. You can continue to send us your questions 
609-403-0973. We'll try to go rapid fire on the questions coming up. Let's get a couple wide receivers in here. Uh, how about uh, Rashard Matthews? He had a great end of the year uh, for Tennessee last year. He was on my to mention list for today. I think that he's the wide receiver one. Again, back to Mariota, been having a good week. He's, he's done well in the preseason. I think he's a, he's a solid play this week. Uh, you like Sammy Watkins with J- Jared Goff out there this year? How about him with the Rams against the Colts in week one? This is a great week to start them. And I think if you're playing daily leagues, that the Rams could win people a lot of money uh, that they, a lot of people won't be on. Um, the Colts are terrible. But I just don't know how much they're going to need to throw. And they may just run, get the ball to uh, Gurley and let him run all day. Okay, a couple more guys. What about uh, T. Y. Hilton? There's no luck this week, so you, he was one of the top. Uh, you probably got him in the top uh, top three rounds, T. Y. Hilton. So you t- pairing him up with Tolzine? Uh, we, we have a hashtag going this week called Never Tolzine. So <laughs> just, don't, <laughs> just don't do it. Don't don't do it. Don't do so, it. Can't do it, Don't Captain. Do it. Won't do it. All right. Uh, how about Tyrell Williams, San Diego? Had a, you know, he was a big buzz guy at the end of last year. Yeah, I think they're, the 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 Chargers got a lot of options. Keenan Allen's back. They're going to mix the ball around. It's uh, it's. I think he's a solid wide receiver three. We're talking about Williams here, but and I like him. I like him a lot more as a flex. All right. Uh, let's get to your fantasy football questions out there. Send us a text message at six zero nine. 403-0973. Uh, this one's tweeted in from Michael Edwards. Uh, had Devontae Parker, but obviously they're out this week in a PPR flex spot. Zay Jones or John Brown instead of Devontae Parker this week? Uh, I like Zay Jones. He's going to be the volume guy, wide receiver for Buffalo. Jeff Clarence from Bridgeton wants to know, is Kansas City's Kareem Hunt a fantasy stud or a bust? I think he's somewhere in between this week, but he's on the he's more towards the stud than dud. And since we're talking about Kareem Hunt, somebody else has him in the fantasy team. Should he stick with him or Rob Kelly? Oh, I definitely Hunt. Hunt's going to see the bulk of the work. Ron from Vineland wants to know about running back and wide receiver. Who should he use at running back? Gurley? Looks like that question kind of got cut off there. I got the same question here. I'm looking yeah, for I'll the other Gurley name. Then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it Gurley or Gurley? Uh, well, I was like, wait a second. We, we have him as running back number seven, so okay. I think pretty much he's the answer. And then also Big Ben or Matt Stafford is from St. Ron. That's a good debate right there. And I, we have Stafford again over Big Ben on the road. It's Stafford's to play this week. Smart by Ron. He's putting them all in there. I've got Winston on a bye. Tyrod Taylor or Sam Bradford? Tyrod Taylor or Sam Bradford? That's uh, I, I definitely go with, uh, I, I would go with Sam Bradford. Uh, Tyrod Taylor could run some, but you know, I'm actually going to flip that. Against the Jets, I'm going to go with Tyrod Taylor just because he can scramble, get some 40, 50 yards that way. All right, let's uh, get some more questions in here for Jeff Pasquino for thefootballguys.com. Another question regarding that game that was lost. Lost Jay Ajayi for the week. So, do I go with Giovanni Bernard or Wendell Smallwood? Mm, in PPR league, I go Smallwood. I would go Smallwood almost in any format. I think Bernard could be the third back for Cincinnati. All right, a couple more here. This one is from Jeff. He wants to know Matthew Stafford or Philip Rivers. Uh, I think Stafford is going to be asked to throw a lot against Arizona this week, so, and and Rivers is going against Denver. So Man, I really like Stafford. Got a lot of questions uh, coming in here. Let's uh, try to bang out as many as we can. How about John Brown or Keenan Allen? John Brown is is he's on the downside with Arizona with the sickle cell. He just don't he just don't keep play. I'm going Keenan Allen. All right, uh, you mentioned Hogan before, but how about tonight? It's Hogan or Hill? That's the question. Oh, definitely Hill. Tyreek Hill. He's got more, much more upside. All right, Jeff Pasquino, FootballGuys.com, and uh, we will get Jeff's favorite plays of the week coming up here in just a second. Let's uh, PPR take two: Blunt, Woodhead, Decker, or Tate. Decker and Tate just for PPR. Okay, there you go. Uh, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. Jeff, who are some of the guys you're playing this week? Well, you're going to be looking off the beaten path now. I think Kendall Wright at wide receiver is going to be a high-volume guy for the Bears. I also think Zach Miller is going to see a lot of targets in the game. The Bears expect to score 21 points. Somebody's got to score. I think both those guys are solid options. I know I, know I said never told Zim, but believe it or not, Jack Doyle saw 11 targets from him. Um, he just doesn't throw deep when when he started one game last year. So Doyle's another tight end that that you can like. 
Um, running back, it gets a little thin, but I'll tell you, a sleeper is Jeremy Hill. For some reason, the Bengals like to use the veterans, and Hill is still listed as the starter. I also like Legarra Blunt as a surprise, especially in daily leagues. A lot of everybody, everybody's looking at Zach Ertz, who's a, who's a great target, and, uh, and uh, um, Carson Wentz, but Blunt could easily get two touchdowns. He's the number one running back for Philadelphia. All right, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com. Make sure you check out their service there. Great stuff from those guys. They have almost so much information you know what to do with, including those people out there for your daily leagues and your IDP as well. That's the service that I use a lot. Their IDP stuff helps me out for the IDP league that I'm in, footballguys.com. He's Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com setting your week one fantasy football lineups. Jeff, good luck to you. Thank you, guys. One last word. The daily stuff for football, guys, is completely free this week. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Get that Get that out there. Good luck. Enjoy the games, everyone.